there is a quietly released feature hidden inside of ChatGPT called Custom Instructions, and it integrates so neatly into Dolly 3 that it can totally transform what you're able to do. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can use this feature to instantly make Dolly 3 significantly better at every art style. I know a lot of information like this gets locked behind a Patreon, or at the very least an email list, but I want you to like me, so I'm giving you this game-changing prompt absolutely for free, no strings attached. Well, one string. I do charge a quick smack of the like button. <laughs> Anyhow, Dolly 3 is the latest and greatest in AI art right now. There's a lot of hype about it, and that hype is well deserved. To use the version I'm showing you in this video, you'll need to be a premium subscriber to ChatGPT+. First, open up the site, Log in if you need, then start a new chat and make sure your model is on GPT-4. Hover over it at the top and when this box shows up, click Dolly 3. You'll notice when you do that, the chat GPT interface doesn't change at all. That's totally okay. You see, unlike most art generators, when you use Dolly 3, you don't write a prompt. Instead, it's more like a conversation. You tell ChatGPT what the image, or images you want are, and it writes the prompts for you. The problem is, in my opinion, the prompts it writes are pretty basic, and so you still need to be very clear about what you want if you're going to generate anything impressive. Here is where my custom instructions come in. As the name implies, custom instructions are a way for you to have better control over how ChatGPT responds to certain situations. There are two boxes. This one on top is for giving ChatGPT background information that might not be in its training. The bottom one is for asking it how to respond, or to ask it to generate its responses in a certain style or order. Normally, this feature is for telling the model what programming language you code in, or the brand guidelines for the social media posts you like to generate. But they apply for all conversations, including ones with Dolly 3, so it is perfect for enhancing the prompts Dolly 3 writes for you. So what I have done is write custom instructions telling it not only how to write heavily optimized prompts based on simple ideas, but also to be an excellent muse that suggests creative twists on what you've been generating so that you have the same inspiration over what you want next. I put a paste spin link to these two text blocks in the description, so you can copy them over into your own custom instructions and start using these right now. Once you've done that and have them turned on, Dolly 3 becomes a much more compelling art generator. Let me show you what I mean. Remember, you always need to start a new chat whenever you make changes to your custom instructions. Now, let's write something simple. How about a close-up photo of a steak dinner? We'll let this generate, and voila, yes. As we look at these results, you'll see that the prompts here are far more detailed than normal, giving really compelling images when normally ChatGPT's prompts would be kind of plain. Remember, when we asked for a close-up photo of a steak dinner, that was really a seven-word prompt, and look what Dolly 3 has done with it. These are absolutely beautiful. And you'll also see that underneath these four images are four new ideas that are based on this one. And remember, because you can chat with this thing, you can tell it to generate all four of these ideas and see what happens. I'm also asking it to choose interesting angles to take each picture from. Whoa! Now you can see that with these new angles, this has really leveled up the artistic nature of these images. Look how beautiful this burger is, or the seafood platter. I love the shrimp and the krill and the mussels. This looks beautiful. Take a look at these ribs. And the bread looks absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. And notice each time it's mentioning the angle that it's coming from. Viewed from a 45 degree angle. Bird's eye view. Worm's eye, whatever that means. And and side angle. Really, really gorgeous images. And as we add direction to the prompt and it's referencing maybe the angle that you're looking at, you can really improve the images from one to the next. Let's try something a little bit more intense and see how it handles it. Because we have a prompt format that really makes it easy to add stuff, let's try this. So we're gonna generate these same ideas still from interesting camera positions, but this time I want it to reference either condensation or steam. And also because I want the 
the images to be more artistic, I want to mention the color of the light. And by asking it to do those two things, we can make the photos even more impressive and even more interesting. I'll wait for these to generate. Oh my god. Look at how cool these are. You could keep going with your own ideas. You can actually start generating some really beautiful and artistic images with these concepts. And because I've taught ChatGPT how to get a lot of good information into its prompts and you can keep reminding it to do new and different things, your images can quickly improve and become very, very impressive. Now you could keep going with your own ideas or with ChatGPTs, but the point is, this manner of conversation really lends itself to creating really impressive things. I know that all of these are photographs, but in these custom instructions that I've created, I actually included prompt directions that Dolly 3 should use for any art style you can think of. Whenever I switch styles completely, I find I get the best results by just starting a new chat, but it doesn't really matter. Let's do that and try generating some paintings just so you can see how cool these images get and how little you really need to say. So I'm not really gonna describe anything in detail. I'm just gonna say, please create four epic castles that each show off a different painting style. I like brushwork that is bold and expressive. So this clearly is not writing a prompt. This is talking with ChatGPT. And I love how this works. So let me click generate and time travel quickly. Wow, would you look at these. I love this castle and the bold and expressive brushworks. Love the swirling and just the way it stands up against the background. Literally exactly what I was looking for with a really intense style. We'll keep going with, a, with, with the other ones. Another beautiful, beautiful castle. Okay, this one's really cool too. Oh my goodness. And they're all different. So even though I asked for like expressive brush strokes, this is still a different painting style. You can see it's sort of like dotted and smooth, whereas the other one is rough and you can see the texture of the brush. And here it's sort of a finely detailed but clearly painted texture. I love all of them a lot. And yeah, clearly very different. Excellent. So again, this format with my custom instructions is really making prompting really, really easy. I love the idea of the castle being built on the back of a giant wandering creature. I think that sounds really cool. So let's try four variations of idea three. And because it's almost Halloween, we'll ask it to give it a horror ambiance in, in the painting style of, how about the first image? So idea one. Also, why not? Let's ask for some pumpkins in the foreground. So see how this generates. I'm really excited about it. And look how cool these are, goodness. I guess we only got three of them, but I love this like lizard dragon. These are so cool and clearly in my horror style. Oh my God, that's quite a spider. Terrifying, oh, the turtle. These are so cool and still in beautiful styles, but really have that spooky Halloween energy. It, I know we only got three, I guess horror doesn't always follow the content policy, but these are really, really cool. I'm sure you're itching to try this yourself. And I know in this video, I kind of assume you have ChatGPT Plus like I do, but you can also do an, albeit scuffed version of this, completely for free since custom instructions are available on every plan, so they can be used by everyone using ChatGPT, including the free version. You can use GPT 3.5 to generate your prompts, like this, type of beautiful castle. And then head on over to Bing Image Creator, which uses Dolly 3, paste that prompt and click Create. The image you get will still be Dolly 3, it's just a little more work and you might not get something quite so perfect. Yet still, here are four really impressive photographs of castles. As I wrap this video up, let me just show you some more of the results I've been getting from this prompt. The quality of the brush strokes, the level of detail, the coherence around even the strangest and most wild ideas is so impressive to me. I've had so much fun generating these images with Dolly 3 and I could not have done it without these custom instructions. The only thing I will say is that Dolly 3 does still have some work to do when generating photorealistic faces. At a distance, generating people is great, but when you take these same prompts of close-up portraits from Dolly 3 and look at them in mid-journey, you can see that the Dolly 3 version is 
just missing a bit of the something something that makes the faces themselves look amazing, even if I love what Dolly 3 does to the background. But if you do choose to go back into mid-journey and you like a character you generate, you might want to put that character into a bunch of different scenes, and I discovered what I think is the best technique to do exactly that. If that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend you watch this video next.